Welcome to Vintage SF. I'm Richard Rempel. I want to introduce you to somebody new on my bookshelf here. This flattened gentleman is known as Bookmark. There we go. He also looks good just on the shelf below some books. So you may see bookmark in some of my future videos hanging around on my shelves. All right, let's get to the book haul. This is a book haul for May 2024. This month was a bit unusual as I didn't get any vintage books. I got all new books, but that's not to say that they weren't published earlier. So if you are defining it by copyright, there are definitely some vintage books here. I wanted to talk about a few of the places that I buy books from. One of the first is bookoutlet.ca. On the top of the website there, you'll see that free shipping on orders of $50. You'll also see that there is an American site which is bookoutlet.com. You can go to the menu item book categories. You can find new arrivals or you can find science fiction. You can see there's 1,117 books here. This includes hardcovers as well. Using the search engine, let's type in SF Masterworks. Here you can see a selection of seven that are available right now. They're priced between $5.49 to $7.49 a book. Quite reasonable. So I picked up six new books from bookoutlet.ca. The cost $51. If you spend $50 Canadian, you get free shipping. Here are the books that I picked up. This first one is by an author that I haven't collected so far. I've really been remiss in not picking up any of her work. Octavia Butler, Dawn. Copyright 1987. And I was able to pick up a second one, Parable of the Sower. And this one is copyright 1993. Another book that I would like to pick up eventually from bookoutlet.ca will be Kindred. So I'm keeping my eye out for her books as they come up in Book Outlet. I also like to pick up short fiction and there's some great collections that come up. The Science Fiction Hall of Fame, Volume 1. 1929 to 1964. The greatest science fiction stories of all time chosen by the members of the Science Fiction Writers of America, and it's edited by Robert Silverberg. Here are some of the stories. When you get a book from bookoutlet.ca, sometimes they have a little dot there saying that it, it's a remainder book. One of the new channels that I watched this year is Joseph Reads Books. This year, he intends to read all books by Glenn Cook. This is the first Glenn Cook book that I've picked up. Sort of a tongue twister there. Glenn Book Cook. Glenn Cook book that I picked up. It was recommended as the beginning of a series. Black Company. The Black Company. It's one of the tour essentials and it's a hardcover. Copyright 1984. 
I'll put a link to Joseph Reed's books in the description for this video. Slowly, I've been picking up books in the Expanse series by James S.A. Corey, who of course is two writers. All the books I've picked up so far have been from used bookstores, but this one came in at a price I couldn't resist. I think it was $8. And this is number nine in the series, Leviathan Falls. And the last one from bookoutlet.ca, Even Greater Mistakes, Stories by Charlie Jane Anders. I've never read anything by Charlie Jane Anders. This Generation's Le Guin. That comment sold me. And this is copyright 2021. And it's a nice hardcover edition. So, this stack of books, brand new books, two hardcovers in here, $50 Canadian. I mentioned that I was collecting The Expanse. Someone else that I'm collecting whenever I see books available in used bookstores is author Alistair Reynolds. I've listened to House of Sons by Alistair Reynolds. I'm intrigued by his hard science fiction, space opera type fiction. So I've been picking up his books whenever I've found them in the used bookstores. His first book is Revelation Space and it came out in 2000, I believe. Let's see here. Yes, 2000. And on the back of here, you can see that there's two more books in the series. There's Redemption Arc and Absolution Gap. Well, from another used bookstore I had picked up already, Redemption Arc, but how was I gonna get Absolution Gap? I kinda didn't wanna read these books without Absolution Gap ready to go in case I wanted to cruise through them. So I put it on my vintage SF wish list on amazon.ca. I wanted to watch to see if there were any sales before I perhaps could find it in a used bookstore. Now in the descriptions for my videos, I do have my Amazon Vintage SF wish list. This month, I received a gift of the book I was missing from this trilogy. The Absolution Gap by Alistair Reynolds. Copyright 2003. This was a surprise coming to my doorstep. And this said, keep your gift a surprise. Unwrap your present before opening this envelope. So I did that. And I was very surprised and thankful for the book. And inside the envelope, there was a receipt and a message. A gift from Bruce. Dear Richard, hello from Toronto. I'm a fan of your SF YouTube videos. I've read and enjoyed several Reynolds novels myself. Absolution Gap is the next one of his I plan to read. Best wishes. Thank you so much, Bruce. This is really appreciated. You can probably tell by my collecting of the A Science Fiction Special Series 1 that I really enjoy getting series or books that have the same livery in a series. So this is so great. These are all Orbit books. Thank you again, Bruce. Now my last two books of the month, if you are a regular viewer of my channel, you may know what they are already. They're signed copies, signed by the author. They are The Downloaded by Robert J. Sawyer. I was at the event where he was doing a book launch here in Winnipeg. And I asked him to put my outro here as the message. To Richard, keep reading. Robert J. Sawyer. This book came out, of course, in 2024. And the book previous to this, he had written it just before COVID came about. And when he was going to be doing a book tour for it, they were canceled, all his media events. So I don't think it got the publicity that he was hoping for. Fortunately, I actually found this one in a used bookstore in Regina when I was on a trip. The Oppenheimer Alternative. This one is copyright 2020. 
And once again, we have the same inscription from the author, as I requested. If you're watching, Rob, thank you so much. So that's my new book haul for the month of May. Coming up in June, I want to talk about SF Masterworks from Golanx. I'm going to be starting a new playlist that's called Reading Through SF Masterworks. We'll take a look at the history of the SF Masterworks series, and I'll tell you a little bit about where I find the books that I have in the bookshelf behind me here. So until next time, keep collecting. I'm Robert J. Sawyer. Keep reading.